thank you for joining wherever you're joining from welcome 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 keep connecting keep joining anywhere you're joining from i appreciate you keep connecting from all angles from all corners Keep connecting, keep joining. As you're joining the broadcast, please kindly share in your own platform. Great Awaka, you're welcome, great. JJ and Yoke, thank you. Amechi, thank you so much for joining. Please share the video on your platform. Share to family and friends. Keep sharing. Any place you are connecting from, please keep sharing. Share to family and friends. Share to those who are close to you. Even our enemies, you can share to them. Share to them so that they can join us and hear our point of views. You never can tell. You can win a soul. So keep sharing. Amechi Eze, thank you for joining Amechi. Ivan Wafo, thank you for joining Ivan. Pepe, uh, is it Pepe Tem? Thank you for joining Pepe Tem. Good evening from here and good morning to you wherever you are joining. If you are in the afternoon, good afternoon to you. Morning, good morning to you. Over here it's evening and I say good evening to you. Thank you for joining wherever you are connecting from. I appreciate you. May Chukwok God be my guide and protect you and secure you. We are in a very critical time and we have to continue to speak. We have to continue to say the truth and set the record straight. No matter what they try to do, we can't stop and they can't stop us. We will continue to say it the way it is. That is what we do. No matter the weapon of their warfare, no matter the attack we get on daily basis, we continue to preach. Thank you for joining. If you look at the topic I wrote there, we have to talk about the divide and rule. That is the strategy now. So the message of today is going to go for everybody from the contraption called Nigeria. It doesn't matter your tribe, it doesn't matter your religion, it doesn't matter your location. It's a message for every single one of us. As long as you are in the Zoological Republic, this message is for you. If you are in, an indigenous person in that Zoological Republic, any indigenous tribe that you are, no matter your religion, as long as you're indigenous, the message is for you. We talk about the divide and rule. Divide and rule has become the greatest weapon that the enemy have been using against us for a very long time. Divide and rule. It is a strategy of the caliphate that they are using. They have been using it very effectively. It's working for them. But the question is, are you still going to allow that divide and rule to work today? After knowing fully well that what they do is to divide us and rule, will you still be playing into the gallery? To allow them to rule you to allow them to divide you and rule will you still be allowing that well i believe the biafrans can't allow that anymore imagine now they can have created an awareness that wake everybody up and we can't allow it so what about other our brothers and sisters who are indigenous in that zoological republic the indigenous tribe that are losing people that the fulanese want to wipe away are you still going to continue to hold on your hatred to your fellow citizen? Are you still going to continue to hold your hatred on the Biafrans even when they have not committed any crime against you? Are you still going to be listening to the propaganda of the enemy against your fellow human being? Divide and rule. The only strategy that the Caliphate have used to conquer the major indigenous tribes in the Zoological Republic these people we are talking about are the minority. 
The caliphate is the minority in that Zoological Republic. They are minority. But yet, they are able to manipulate people because of the divide and rule. And they are succeeding because we are playing into their system of divide and rule. If we say no to divide and rule, of course they will not have effect anymore. Any day we wake up and say enough is enough for the divide and rule, it can no longer work. It can no longer work. But as long as you continue to play into the gallery, you continue to use the language of the caliphate, you continue to use their language, each time you speak to your fellow citizen, you speak to your fellow indigenous person, you continue to see him as evil. You will see an Igbo Biafran. You have not done any business with him. You have not fought with him. He has not cheated you. You don't even know him. But because the caliphate made you to believe that they want to dominate you. Once you see them, you become, as, you become scared. Once you see them, you don't want to hear from them. Once you see them, you become sensitive to every statement. How long will you continue on that path? For how long are you going to continue on that path? This is the weapon that they have used to hold everybody down. You know that. I know that. But why are you still holding down on that? Why are you still permitting that very divide and rule to take effect? It is working because you are permitting it. Are you still going to be seeing your fellow human being? Somebody like people from the South, the Udua brothers. You see an Udua brothers. You just see an Udua brother. You just see him as a betrayer. You call him name. Call him a betrayer. Call him a man of name. Just simply because he's not from your region. How long will you continue to do that? And where do you think that is going to lead you? These are critical questions everybody has to ask. Answer, not ask. You answer. Answer the question. If you can answer the question effectively, then you can be able to know if you're going to continue on the divide and rule issue or not. The divide and rule is working because you are playing into it. If you say no to it, it's not going to work anymore. The stage that the Zoological Republic is now is a time that every indigenous tribe have to wake up, we stand as one, defend our land, defend our territory, and build a nation that we can be proud of. That is what we are asking for, nothing else. That is the only thing we are asking for. Nobody is planning to dominate anybody. Nobody is planning to take over your land or speak for you. Every indigenous tribe wants to stand on their own and be on their self, be by themselves. Be their self and use their area Practice whatever system of government you want to practice. Practice whatever religion you want to practice. Peacefully without anybody interrupting you. That is exactly the situation we are in. And that is our desire. And that is what we are calling for. But each time you see this zoological republic, the caliphate mainly, the Fulani caliphates, they played into the system. They came in there. They divided the houses. The houses begin to see their leaders as enemies. See their process enemies, gave them different kinds of names, and they bought into the game. They begin to destroy themselves and they took over everywhere. Today, the Hausa people have no representation anywhere. They came to the old southeastern region. In the southeastern region, they decided to paint their lies, paint people evil. They tell you that the Igbo Biafrans are only there to dominate you. They tell you that the Igbo Biafrans are fraudulent. They tell you that Igbo Biafrans are ritualists. They tell you that Igbo Biafrans are good for nothing. They preach it and preach it and preach and the media help them to hype all those information. Whenever a crime is committed, nobody is supporting a crime. If you are a criminal, it doesn't matter your tribe or religion. It is not something that one has to be supporting. But why must you be blowing some areas out of proportion? And some areas when you see it, you turn a blind eye to it. As you are watching the video, you can agree with me that the most dangerous criminals we have in the Zoological Republic, politically today, they are from the north. Full and ease, to be precise. Not just funny, not full and to be precise. They have stolen and stolen and stolen, and they are not hiding about it. The evidence is everywhere, and yet nothing has been done. But those who are from the southern part of Nigeria, who has gotten involved in one thing or the other, maybe intentionally or mistakenly, you see them blowing the issue out of proportion. It becomes the talk of, talk of the town. It becomes the talk of town as if it has never happened before. This is the situation. And this is something we have to stop. We have to stop because we are helping them to promote this divide and rule. 
that is the strongest weapon. Just check the situation of the Zoological Republic now. Every indigenous tribe have become an endangered species. Just go and check the record. Every indigenous tribe has become endangered. Let me tell you, the Biafrans are even more secure more than any other tribe because they have been awake for a very long time. They saw what was coming and they stood their ground and they never want to lose again. Every indigenous tribe has become an endangered species. Every of them that have used against the Biafrans in the past, preaching hatred, they are all regretting it today. The few people who are not yet coming on board are the people who are still trying to protect their evil agenda, protect their fraudulent money they give to them from the resources of many. They come to your area, they look for one person and empower the person. The person will become so powerful that you begin to see the person as a God. And they use that person to manipulate everybody in the area. Look at the Southwest, for example. In the Southwest today, they have been able to empower Put Tunubu, made Tunubu to be richer than the state. And they turn a blind eye to it. Tunubu has become so rich that he can be able to drive a bullion van into his house. And he boasts about it. And nobody arrests him. No EFC is invite him. Instead, he has now qualified to become your president. That is what the Zoological Republic can do. That is what the Fulani Caliphate can do. And today, you see, every, when they tell you that the, the, the West is with them, when they tell you that the Uruguay people are with them, they are talking about Tunubu. Because they believe that they can use Tunubu to manipulate everybody from the Southwest. But that is a total lie. We know that the Southwest are sincere people. We have reliable people over here. And the Southwest, Tunubu doesn't speak for them. So many of you have heard the leader of Afeni Ferre make speech in several, in several occasions. He has made several speeches in several occasions. He has he have spoken on many forums about so many issues. And all of you have heard about it. So it's not something different. You don't have to be deceived. Don't allow anybody to blackmail you into all those lies. The more you continue to fall into the lies of the blackmail of the Zoological Republic and the Caliphate itself, the more you continue to be enslaved yourself. For this case of Bia France, I know there are still some few people who are being blackmailed of denying their identity. You see somebody will be denying his or her identity simply because you want to be relevant. You deny your identity, deny your name, deny your origin because you want to be relevant. And after that denial, are you relevant? You can't be relevant anywhere. They can never treat you. At the end of the day, they are going to treat you as an infidel. And that is it. So it doesn't matter how you try to kill your people, sacrifice your people for them. At the end of the day, you are still going to pay. So what do you do? What you're going to do at this critical point in time now, when the restoration of Biafra is coming, when the end of the Zoological Republic has come, the end has come. For those who are still pretending, thinking that the end, end have already come. So it's left for you. If you want to join the train, it's left for you to join the train. If you don't want to join the train, be where you are. Be where you are. Definitely you're going to see the result at the end of the day. But for those who are willing, who are willing to join the train, they know, where to, they, they know the situation of the country. Now, and people are now facing their own country. Wherever you are, if you are from Odudua land, you key in into the Odudua agenda. If you are from Biafra land, key in into the Biafra agenda. If you are from the Middle Belt, key in into the Middle Belt and agenda. If you are from Arewa, you can do equally the same. Key in your own agenda. There is nothing like one Nigeria. It has ended. Everything you are seeing now is moving. Go to the media. Even as you are watching this very broadcast today, the Fulanese are coming in from all areas. They are coming in from all angles, from Mauritania, from Niger, from Chad, from Benin Republic, from all parts of West Africa. They are assembling in the Zoological Republic. What is their mission? To take away all the indigenous tribe in the Zoological Republic and take over. That is the only mission they have. There's no other mission. And they will succeed in that mission if you do not move away from divide and rule. If you don't stop seeing your fellow citizen, your fellow indigenous person, if you don't stop seeing them as enemies, you are going to be you, you, you're going to pay for it dearly. For the Biafran people, I thank Chukwu Kukabiyama that 99.9% .9 of Biafrans today know whom they are. We know that we are brothers. We know that one blood is flowing in our veins. We know that we have one essential parents. Forget about the 0.5% that are still denying their identity because of their selfish interests. You saw your brother Wike. Wike, after several denial, after several denial, up to the extent of killing his own people, 
destroying lives in Ubibo. He thought they were going to favor him. His greatest friend disappointed him in the front at the, at the time when he needed him most. They disappointed him to tell him that, man, even if you are denying to be Igbo, you are Igbo. They know that's what they know you for. They don't care. As long as you're from the old southeastern region, they identify us as in Yamri. That is what you are. Take it or leave it. That is how they see you. Oh, you think the you think the drama is just against the evils? Think again. Oh, you think the drama is just against the evils? You must be kidding. They are going to use you as a willing tool to make sure that their divide and rule is effective. They will empower you. They give you money. If you want money, they are going to give. They will give you all you wealth. They will give you access to all the wealth. Look at the way they exalted Tunubu. That's an example. Look at the way they have raised Tunubu to a standard, up to the extent of handing him over the president, even when they know that he is not effective. They know that even if he succeeds in getting there, he cannot last more than two years. He will be dead. And look at the person they are bringing to assist him. Another Fulani terrorist, Erufai. They are preparing another Fulani terrorist, Erufai, to be the one to succeed, to be the vice president to Tunubu. And you are still there sleeping. When people say you should wake up, wake up, wake up from your sleep, and you think it's just a go, you think it's just a ranting. It is not ranting. That is reality staring at your face. If you want to face reality and you want to be in the path of truth and sincerity, you must have to wake up. Begin to see your fellow indigenous citizen as somebody who deserves freedom. As we are fighting for our freedom, the Biafran people, the Oduduans are fighting for their freedom, the Middle East are fighting for their freedom, every other indigenous tribe should go ahead and fight for their freedom. The time is now. Please share the video as you're joining. Share the video. Share it to our platform. Share the video. Keep on sharing. Keep on sharing the video. You can equally support the star if you care. If you want to support the uh, brokers with star, you can support. Click the stars. So as I was saying, divide and rule is the only weapon. There, and this is the time they will unleash the weapon. They have started already. They have started using that same divide and rule. This is not the time to blame your fellow indigenous person in the Zoological Republic. This is not the time to begin to blame your fellow. It doesn't matter the tribe of the person. It doesn't matter the religion of the person. If the person is Hausa, if the person is uh, from a Yoruba land, if the person is from a Do state, any part of that Zoological Republic, as long as that person is an indigenous person, he is not your enemy. He is not your enemy. I'm not saying we don't have dubious people among us. We have some criminals among us. But we are going to deal with them at our own time, not by the dictate of the Fulanese. We are going to deal with them at our own time, not by the dictate of the Fulanese. Some of you saw the video that was made. One, uh, one of the Fulani men that was interviewed in a rice television. One of the videos that is going viral. I'm going to post it on my page after the broadcast. The video that our brother Simon Epa used on his program to, uh, yesterday. You saw how they are trying to push your passenger. They are trying to push your passenger to take responsibility of the Biafran war. And they now forgot that they were the people who committed the main pogrom. The pogrom that caused the war, it was them that committed it. Now they have forgotten about it. They want to begin to push out Obasanjo to speak out, tell us how evil Obasanjo was to the Biafran people. Why must he be the one today be talking about Igbo presidency when he has killed and never apologized? Now they want to shift our attention so that we continue to blame People from Oduduwa land continue to blame Obasanjo and forget the main culprit, which is the Fulanese. The main culprit, they want us to forget them and begin to look at an individual. And you and I know that Obasanjo was serving the Zoological Republic then. That is why I say nobody should ever, 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 if you are sincere to yourself, nobody should ever talk about supporting anybody to be the president of the Zoological Republic. You should not ever dream about it. Anybody that makes any move of being anything, in the, either a governor, a minister, or whatever you want to be in that, you are a dead man. You are just, you are just a criminal. You are a monster. That is what you are. When you see anybody that makes to take out any position in the Zoological Republic, it doesn't matter the position that person is taking. If you are taking the position to be a minister, to be a governor, to be a, 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 a lawmaker, to be a president, you are a monster. You don't deserve mercy. We don't have anything to do with you. 
because what you are going to do is that you are going to sign an agreement to take the life of your people what are you going to sign into you are going to be signing into an agreement based on the 1999 constitution that will make it sure that injustice continues in nigeria that same 1999 constitution that will make sure that no indigenous tribe has a right that is what you want to go and sign into and when you sign up to that you will definitely do what they tell you to do just like they are blaming ambassador today they are still going to blame you and play that card of divide and rule they will try to drive the attention of the indigenous people to that individual who they have themselves have given a constitution to run they want us to face the person but that is not what we are today our responsibility is to bring down the system the responsibility of every indigenous person is to bring down that evil system that evil system that they have put in place that evil system that will empower your brother to take your life that evil system that will empower the zoological republic to continue to control you that is the system we want to bring down and we must bring it down we must bring it down not too far it's gonna happen it's gonna happen it's gonna happen in 2023 as they are talking about the election we are not part of it we have said it clear very very clear so it doesn't matter the propaganda they push it doesn't matter their blackmail it doesn't matter the nonsense they are talking we are not part of it do not engage yourself in all those nonsense don't engage yourself don't engage yourself in it anybody if you like oh let it be your uncle let it be your auntie let it be your brother or your uncle or your benefactor the person that is feeding you and that person is working for the Zoological Republic at every level. You are a minister. You are a governor. You are a lawmaker. Up to the presidency. Every one of you, you are all fraudulent and you are all evil men. Sponsors of evil. Haters of their people. That is what they are. Because they know that they are going to sign up to an agreement to deal with their people. An agreement to make sure that your people has no say. An agreement to make sure that the indigenous people continue to be a third class citizen in a nation which they own by themselves. That is what they want you to do. But we can't allow that. We will not allow that. No matter what happens, no matter the angle they are coming from, we will not allow it. And it's not just a my here saying, we are working towards that. If you are a genuine Biafran, if you are genuine and you sincerely want freedom, the time is now. Join the moving train. Every one of you today know the moving train. We are no longer gossiping. We don't care about the gossipers. We don't care about the distractors. You can write anything you want to write on the comment section. I give no damn about you because you don't exist. You don't exist. As long as you're not genuine, asking for the freedom of people, you don't exist. There's no point responding to you. So keep on wasting your time. Keep on wasting your data, your time, and be watching. Just keep watching. Maybe, maybe after watching, when you go to sleep and think over it, maybe you'll be redeemed. But for me to waste my time on you, I'm not going to waste my time on you. I only talk to responsible people. People who are seeking for their freedom genuinely. People whom Chukwu Okokabiyama have created free. And they are not willing to sell their freedom. Those are the people I'm talking to and they know themselves. We must go home. Every tribe in the Zoological Republic, as long as you're indigenous, every indigenous tribe, it doesn't matter your location, it doesn't matter your area, it doesn't matter your religion. Whatever religion you are, that doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't make any difference. The only thing that I'm telling you now is this is not the time to blame your fellow indigenous person in the Zoological Republic. Don't blame your fellow. We know whom the enemy is. They are trying to play that same card. The only card they have, the only card they have, the only card that they are using against us, the only card they are using against us is the card of divide and rule. Divide and rule. They divide us and they continue to rule. Go and check in every ethnic group. They have divided ethnic groups. They divide people up to their regions, areas, villages. They will come to your village. They will empower one person. They will make the person so powerful, so rich that you cannot be able to utter any word. You begin to see the person as Lord. And the person, they will begin to use that person to manipulate you. And they will give the person access to all kinds of crimes, all kinds of criminalities. They will allow the person to commit every all manner of crimes and they will take, turn a blind eye to it. Then, when the time comes, they are going to use that person to manipulate you. Just like they are using Tulubu today. Every agreement you see the caliphate telling you that they reach agreement with the, the Southwest, 
the agreement is with their their their, their stooge Tunubu. That is the only man they have agreement to. The Southwest is not with him. We have very intelligent and brilliant people in the Southwest, and they are crying and shouting out. And they will come out to make you believe that people from the Southwest are cowards, which is a pure lie. In fact, they are the bravest. In fact, the people from the Southwest, the Dudua people, they are the bravest, as I can see. Very brave. Very, very brave. Look at, if you don't know that they are brave, just check at the governors you are seeing. The governors, even with the whole critical situation, it is only the governor from the Southwest that are making waves. They are the only one challenging the authority. They are the only one pushing out agendas and things that will happen. And they will make you believe that this black, they are not cowards. They know what they are doing. They will turn to the Southwest, East. They will turn to the Biafra land. They will tell you that Biafras, mainly the Southeasterners, that all of them are criminals. That they are very dominant. They are very proud. Who told you that they are proud? They are not proud. They are just hardworking. They will tell you they are dominating. They are not dominating. They are just hardworking. They will tell you they are ritualists. They are not just ritualists. They are just hardworking. They are just hardworking. People who cannot stay down. They can't stay down. And that is why they can't be able to tolerate us. They will tell you that the beer friends are so loud. Beer friends are so loud. They are not patient. They complain a lot. Of course. We are complaining of what matters. We are demanding for our rights and we cannot allow anybody to take away our rights from us. We are not asking for anybody's rights. Neither are we asking for anybody's home or anybody's property or anybody's house or anybody's land. We are asking for our own land. Even as we are agitating, we are not agitating to take any land. We are not asking for Ruga. We are not agitating to take anybody's land or anybody's resources. We are agitating for that portion which is ours. That is what we are asking for. And you tell me it's wrong to ask? When somebody is asking for something that belongs to him, does that make that person a bad person? In fact, you are irresponsible when you don't know what belongs to you. If you allow that which belongs to you to be taken away by the enemy, that is when you become irresponsible. No responsible man will allow his right to be taken away without a fight. It doesn't happen anyway. No responsible man or woman will allow his or her right to be taken away without a fight. And that is what Biafran stands for. Justice and equity. We have been calling for justice. They tag us names. We call for justice. They demonize us. We call for justice. They come after us and kill us. And yet, you want us to fold our hands and continue to watch. The time, the end has come. The end has come. And when I say the end has come, I'm not talking about the end of the world. I'm talking about the end of the zoological republic. The time has come. Wherever you belong to your tent, O Israel. If you are a Biafran, begin to locate Biafrans, join them and support everything they are doing. If you are from Odudua land, locate the Odudua people, join them and support everything they are doing. If you are from the Middle Belt, whichever zone you are from, support your zone and pursue your own agenda. Nigeria doesn't exist anymore. It only existed in the, in the, in the dream of those one Nigerians, in the dream of those evil people. In the dream of those clowns, in the dream of those pretenders, in the dreams of those who have chosen slavery, in the dreams of those frosters who are pro pro protecting their evil money, is still existing in their heart and they want to protect it by all means possible. But for us, it doesn't exist and it's, we're going to bring it to reality. Not for a long time. That is why you see Abura Simon Epa. Is making a massive call. Our brother Samuel Ekpa has made that call that Mazen Nanekano told us that the time will come when we march. The time to march is now. The time to march is now. Mazen Nanekano laid the foundation. After laying the whole foundation, Mazen Nanekano told us that Simon Ekpa is bringing a new dimension. And that new dimension has been opened. A new dimension heading to Biafra. The call has been made. The call have you made. If you genuinely want your freedom, if sincerely you are genuine and you want your freedom, the time is now. Come out. Come out. Whichever area you know you can perform. If you can perform in the media, we have enough men on the ground already. More than enough. All they need is an equipment. They need the tools to work. And we have to provide our tools. Nobody is going to provide the tools. It is you and I that will provide our tools. And that is what Abraham Samuel is crying for. 
I'm calling for. Freedom doesn't come cheap. It comes with sacrifice. If you are not willing to do this, pray the sacrifice, then you should be probably be willing to accept your slavery. But I thank you, Kuo Kukariyama, that 99.9% .9 of Biafrans have been ready long ago, and they want to go home. We are all ready. We want to go home. We have been away for a very long time. We can't sing a lawful song in a strange land anymore. We do not want to continue to sing a love song in a strange land. We want to go back home. We want to go back home, and the time is now. It doesn't matter their blackmail. It doesn't matter their propaganda. It doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter what they do. We are really going to move into the next stage. And the next stage we have moved into. All you have to do is to come and take your position. If you are very good in any aspect, if you are one of those who is being called, who is being blessed for today, if you are one of those who has been positioned for the day we are in, there are some people that have been positioned because of today. The call has been made. The Mazen Simon Eko made a call. <laughs> some people went to media. You see some people, they lost their mind. They lost their mind because for a very long time, they have been following some fraudulent group. For a very long time, they have been following some criminals. For a very long time, fraud has been the order of the day. So you don't blame them when it becomes very hard for them to see a genuine person. But I tell you, today, at least, when you're donating your money, you know who's in charge. Are yet to wake up from your slumber or your sleep and get the point that we are exiting Nigeria. Exiting Nigeria is not going to come from the platter of goldy plate. You have to sacrifice for it. And we are ready to sacrifice everything, including you. If you come and stand in the way of freedom. So, you need to know how serious we are. We are damn serious. Some of you are not getting it. You think we are here to, to, make, to build political movement? We are here for freedom. Freedom come with price. Okay? The only thing you can do is to comment on social media. Don't ever stand on the way of Biafra freedom. We we'll crush you. Their interest is suppressed. Biafra is the key. Once they can hold Biafra down, they can hold all of Africa down. <laughs> hey, freedom fighting, sorry. Because all these people are criminals. They are saying there is no way this man cannot be a criminal like themselves. They don't have a different breed altogether. They don't know that. I am and I'm the canon. I don't do all this nonsense you do. My father was a very rich man. Not ostentatious. I had the finest education that his money could afford. We are not poor. Have never been. That is why a poor man cannot be a freedom fighter. If you're not full of yourself, you cannot be a freedom fighter. You cannot go everywhere. We must continue.